Hello and welcome. I am Ali Juno and this is my Crafty Corner. Um, if you are a new subscriber, welcome. I hope you enjoy the video. If you are a returning viewer, I appreciate you coming back. Um, today I am doing a stitch with me. Um, this is stitch with me number 10. Uh, it is Sunday, August the 15th. And that's about all I've got for the moment, so I will go ahead and get everything going so that we can start doing our stitch with me. And I can continue to talk about my day. There we go. Now we should be all good and ready to go. All right, so today I am working on a, a different project. Um, I've showed this one uh, once or twice on my YouTube, uh, my floss tubes. Um, I haven't worked on it much recently, so I figured I'd get some time in on it today. This is uh, a Biscor new that I'm working on. I'm working on the first part of it. Um, uh, it is, I've got it in the top, uh, the screen above me uh, on what exactly I'm working on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and scroll in so you can see more of what I'm, my stitches. Um, so today is just going to be, a, it's just a relaxy stitchy day. I have a very long weekend and week has been pretty busy. Um, I am going to be enjoying this yes, glass of wine today. Um, I don't drink wine very often, but it's just one of those days. Um, this is just a, a sweet rose. Uh, Kana, I haven't found too many wines that I like yet, so I'm trying some. Oh, we have a Simon sighting! Hi, baby! So, let us go ahead and get into stitching. And I will now... Uh, yes? Can I help you? He wants some attention. He doesn't normally come say hi to me when I'm streaming. You good? All right, so we'll just let him sit there and he'll probably take off in a second. So, let's go. I did, on Wednesday, I did my floss tube, stitch with me ketchup. Um, so that I was able to get my Stitch With Me caught back up and back on track. Um, not saying that they won't get off track again, but we will try. Um, let's see, I got, I actually got a lot of stitching this week, so I feel like I've made progress and I still have a few more days to go. Um, I've been working on some of my smaller projects um, instead of my haze, my full coverage ones. Um, trying to get some progress on these because December is coming up fast and these are supposed to be Christmas presents. Um, they're not going to be Christmas presents if I can't get them completed on time. So, um, with this one, um, this pattern is 28 count, um, I'm doing one over one, um, I am using this pattern on my iPad, I have a, I found a new program, it's a lot like, um, Pattern Keeper, um, it's called Markup, uh, RXP. Um, it is really cool. Um, basically, it's uh, it's another version of Pattern Keeper, as I said just a minute ago. It really does um, help keep up with your stitches. I'm going to knock my drink over. 
Um, so if you have an iPad and you've been looking for a program similar to um, Pattern Keeper, uh, definitely look up Mark, and it's called Mark Up RXP in the Apple. I will, you know, I will say it is a, a one-time fee, so you do have to pay for it, just like Pattern Keeper, but it's just once. Um, I will say I will still continue to use Pattern Keeper, um, but for the patterns that I haven't been able to load up in Pattern Keeper, I have been able to load up in... What are you doing? Um, but I have been able to load up in the markup and be able to keep up with where my stitches are. So I I'm really enjoying that. Um, I, c I have used paper patterns once. They're a little more harder for me to make sure I'm staying in the right spot. But if I had to use a paper pattern, I could definitely use a paper pattern. Simon, you 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 gotta get off the desk, Bubby. You are causing my camera to shake and everything. I'm here, Bubby. Oop. There we go. Scoop head. All right. Maybe that'll help the shakiness of the camera. Or is it me? We'll see. See if that helps out as well. Um, yeah, so... What was I talking about? As you can tell, I tend to forget what I'm talking about when I get off subject. Sometimes I remember what I was talking about, sometimes I don't. I know I was talking about markup, but I don't know how far I got or if I finished my conversation. No. No, it's fine. No, it's fine. There we go. Um we mark where I'm at. Definitely like keeping up to date with where I'm at on my marks. Um, let's see, and then what did I do the rest of this week? Um, I went and, me and my husband went and watched a movie. Please stop it. Thank you. Um, me, my husband, and my daughter went and watched a movie. We went and watched, um, Night, uh, Free Guy. Um, I loved it. It was awesome. I really enjoyed that movie. Um, so we went to the theater to see that one. Um, I've actually recently saw the, um, The Suicide Squad. We watched that on HBO Max. So I didn't actually go to the theater for that one. Um, because my husband and daughter went and saw it and they said it was good so we were planning to go see it and then we found it on HBO and decided that we were going to go ahead and just watch it from there because I really I don't like going to the theater a lot nothing against theaters I'm just I'm a homebody you know if I'm gonna watch a movie I prefer to do it in my own house so I can so I can stitch while I watch a movie. Um, it's kind of hard to stitch when you're in a theater in a dark room. In a dark room, uh, they don't like it if you try to put a light on. <laughs> so yeah, so those are the two movies I watched this week. Um, Friday. What did I do Friday? Um, 
No, Friday was when we went to see the movie. Thursday we had friends come over and we just um, kind of just chit chatted and whatnot. So nothing big on Thursday. Friday was when we watched the movie. Um, yesterday we went to the movies. Um, no, we didn't. Yesterday, we went to the pool party um, that I mentioned, and my floss tube stitched with me. Um, we had a blast. Uh, we sat there and we went and was swimming around. It was a potluck as well. It was a birthday party. So we had a great, um, it made a ribs. Oh, these ribs were awesome. They were like falling off the bone. Um, and then after we were done, it was already dark. Um, they started a bonfire. So we proceeded to just sit outside and enjoy the bonfire. Um, I haven't. I haven't done anything like that in years. Back when I, back when we lived in Texas, I believe, about ten years ago. Um, so that was nice and relaxing. Even though <laughs> when we finally left, it was almost two thirty in the morning, <laughs> which uh, I'm not used to staying up that late. <laughs> And, uh, so we made it home, crashed, and then this morning I got, I was, got woke up by nine o'clock and was unable to go back to sleep. So I'm going to be ready to crash tonight because I'm running on, truthfully, by the time we got home, got settled, um, and I laid down, I've gotten about four hours sleep. So I'm definitely going to try to get to sleep early so that I can get up and be prepared for a work week. Because Monday is our, our worst day of the month, or worst day of the week when it comes to call volume. Still on screen. Hopefully nothing's getting in your view, really. I know my fingers get in the way a little bit, but I'm trying to make sure you can see the stitches and my hand doesn't block it. Um, let's see. Uh, this particular pattern, since it's so small, you know, like this is, this is as big as it's going to be. Um, as you can see the blue line here that's about as wide as this pattern is going to be so um, I just put it in one of my little hoops um, I don't normally use hoops but I figured since this is so small I would go ahead and do that because it just I was having trouble with tension in my Q-snap because it just isn't, the fabric is just not wide enough. And then when I went to a smaller one, it just, I don't know, I didn't like the, the, the angle that I was ending up stitching on. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I need to mark my stuff here in just a second when I hit this end. Um, let's see. Alright. So there is my 10 mark. Oops, 
Sorry, I'm bumping stuff and making it wiggle. Alright, so we're gonna mark this so I know exactly where I'm at. Getting too far. Okay. So three over. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna finish these three, and then I'm gonna do these ones down in here. Okay. I'm sorry, I was just planning out my stitch. Um, as I've mentioned before, I like to do that. Like I'll. I'll like figure out where I'm at and then like if I have other stitches elsewhere I will plan what path I'm going to take all right so I also wanted to mention oh sorry I have just hit, hold on, crap, okay, um, I have just hit a hundred subscribers so um, make you know I'm super happy about that I'm super excited as well you know to know that I have got a hundred people subscribed to my channel it's just awesome at least for me I mean I'm surprised I you know even hit that number. I wasn't wasn't really expecting anybody to really watch what I do. You know, I just didn't. All right, so I'm actually going to stop here. This did I do something wrong? I think I know what it is. My grids are off just a little. I remember that now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I had to figure out where I was at, what I was doing. Alright. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, yes. I, like I said, I was super happy that I looked this morning and I've hit 100 subscribers. Um, I was just amazes me that I hit a hundred people um, that have subscribed to my channel um, and that people were you know watching my videos you know that's just amazing because uh, this was just kind of a you know I'm gonna do this just to just to do this you know just to have the you know the floss tube stitch with me is for just to have the progress of my work mostly and just to give me like the stitch with me was just because I like watching stitch with me so I started doing stitch with me's but so what I'm planning to do is um, I'm going to try to schedule a live stream on YouTube um, sometime this week, might be closer to Friday next week, uh, Friday, um, my floss tube Wednesday should have a, a plan, um, on when I'm going to do my live stream. And then, I'm also going to try, um, 
and do a giveaway. I'm gonna I'm gonna look into how to do in a giveaway for reaching 100 subs because to me that is that is a big achievement. Um, I know you know some people have way more than I do, but. You gotta get there somehow. You gotta get there some way. Everybody starts out on the low end and be happy with every achievement that you do hit. So, I'm going to try to set up a live stream probably around Friday. It, I, know, I still plan on doing my stitch with me. I'm not, this the live stream is gonna be a completely different event. Um, but I should have information on that Wednesday. Um, and then on Wednesday, I'm also going to have an update on when I would be doing the, I will maybe be able to have everything set up so I can do the giveaway then. Um, that's the goal is to have it ready to like run the giveaway. I just have to find the right program to run the giveaway. I know there is one for to use because I've seen people use it. I just don't know. I'll just have to find it. Three, six, seven. So give me just a minute. Okay. All right, so I'm um, going to go down here and we're going to do these oddball ones down here. All right. Um, so that's about all that I have for, you know, most of the information I have for any kind of giveaway or anything like that or when the live stream is, is going to be on uh, Wednesday this week. So, this is, is a little more complex on this part of the pattern because I have to count a lot. So, give me just a minute to get to my next stitch spot. So, Over. Okay, so now I need to go over Sorry about that. Like I said, uh, it's a bit of counting I had to to do to make sure I was in the right spot. Because um, it has all these little hearts up underneath here. So, just going ahead and getting those done. Um, so, I'm really not sure what else to talk about. Oh, I... I yeah, I think I know what else I can talk about. Um, my kittens, the they have just recently hit, um, or they're almost at six months old. So we are going to be taking them to get them fixed. Because um, for one, I don't need kittens. For two, they're a brother and sister, so they don't need to make kittens. Um, and I definitely don't want to deal with a female cat in heat, because 
they don't like to shut up. <laughs> and uh, I definitely want to get them fixed before they go into heat. Um, so we're working getting that set up. Um, my daughter is now a full-time employee at Walmart. She did her first day of work yesterday. And she finishes up her last day of work at her old job today. And so she gave a two-week notice. Uh-uh. Why am I off? I'm off somewhere. Hold on. Did I count wrong? I counted wrong. Ah! Wrong time! This is not in the right spot. At all. It's one too far over. So, I get to take out what I just put in. Give me just a second here. Oops. Can't do that. There we go. Alright, um, so yeah, she started her new job. Um, Next work day is Tuesday, so she's looking forward to that. Um, I went to the store today and I bought a new shelf that I'm going to set up and um, to store my craft stuff in. Um, Um, once I have it together, I will show you because I'm changing up. I'm basically going to rearrange my whole office area. Um, like, um, I have my work computer in here as well as my personal computer. So I've done decided that I'm going to. Actually, don't need to remove that one. Um, I'm going to um, change it up, you know. So there we go. Now we're back on the right one. Alright, um, but yeah, I'm going to um, change my room around. I will, um, once I get it completed, which hopefully well, probably won't be done until next weekend. Um, so maybe on my next Stitch With Me, because I've, uh, I think I'm going to try to stick with my Stitch With Me's on Sunday. Um, so we will figure out from there but when um again um once I get the room rearranged I will show you um I will post a picture of it um and my next floss tube or stitch with me whichever one I've got um so you can see you know how I have arranged everything um, I'll put it in towards the end of the video, so whoever might not want to see it won't have to. Um, but yeah, we bought a new shelf so that I can um, store my cross stitch stuff in. Um, and then I bought, it's one of those that I can have different color drawers. And 
Oh, I've got a bunch of different colored drawers so I can pinpoint. Um, like, I'm pretty good about remembering where I put what in what drawer, so. That's what I'm looking forward to. Being able to be like, oh, I put this pattern in this drawer, so I know where it's at. There's one in here. There we go. I'll do that. Okay. So that is that one. Okay, I have counting to do again. Let's see if I can count correctly this time. <laughs> Alright, so I am here. So we're gonna go over two. There's one. There's two. I'm gonna go here. Then we're gonna go up. Two. Three, four, five. Okay. I think that's right. That looks right. I don't know. I have a thread that's trying to die on me. Okay. I think I've got through that. Um, I'm about done with this thread. Because. I don't see any more of this color around. Everything else is going on that way. So, we're going to go ahead and end this thread. I am going to do. Yeah, I'm going to do my loop finish. I know it's only one thread, but I still know how to do the loop finish. There we go. Down. Then. I can go through here. So this is going to be covered. I've done the loop, so now I'm just going to do a pin stitch. Come on. Pin, pin. There we go. And now that is sealed. And I'm going to cut this. And that is the that for that particular color. There's still a little there, but it is pretty wore out. It's pretty um threadbare so I'm actually getting rid of it I'm not gonna add it to anything else because it's not a whole lot of thread um, it would probably do a couple of stitches but it wouldn't um, I don't think it would hold very long because of um, how thin the thread has gotten All right, so now we're going to go with the different color. All right, um, let me look at my key. Um, sky blue, okay. So that is this one. Grabbing my color. Alrighty. Now it is time to start the next stitch. So, this one. We are going to start here, and we're going to go around. I 
actually. Do I want to start there or do I want to start here? Uh, yeah, we're going to start here and then I'm just going to half stitch around and then come back because I'm heading that direction. So. I'm going to do one stitch here. Ah, nope. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this into a loop stitch. So we're going to turn this into a loop stitch. Start. Because it's not going to want to hold because I'm not doing the full stitch. So if I do this, I don't have to do another stitch. I can just continue with the half stitches because I'm just going to go all the way around half stitches and then fill them back up. I will say I am loving the colors on this pattern. Um, they're very uh, they're rainbow, but they're like more of a I don't know pastel rainbow. I don't know, but they're they're more of a muted rainbow. Like the colors are bright, but they're not too bright. So. Just kind of counting my threads, making sure I'm going the right way. Um, I don't really have anything else to talk about, you know, life-wise this week. Um, don't have any more updates on anything. My truck is still in the shop, but they've not even looked at it. Um, they say that they ain't looked at it because when the tow truck guy dropped off the, tr the truck, they dropped it off on the other side of the lot and they haven't been able to push it in because it doesn't start. So, I don't know. Um, luckily, it's, it's one of those that... I'm not in a real big, I don't have to have it in a hurry um, to get them to look at it, so I can allow them to wait a little bit, um, so hopefully they get it in soon, um, just so we can know what's wrong with it and how much it's going to cost to fix it. Um, Let's see. Uh oh. So point down so you don't catch on nothing. Thank you. Um I do know that when I get done with the stream, I am going to be switching out projects. Because I just wanted to get um A couple of hundred stitches in on this today. Um, I didn't want to go crazy with it. Mm. I've done, you know, this is my second project I've worked on so far today. They all been my small projects, but I think I'm going to. Um, as soon as I get done with this and get it uploaded, I'm going to go set up in the living room with my recliner chair, and I don't know if I'm going to work, which one I'm going to work on, um, whether it's going to be my kitten and the rose haid, which it's very possible that's the one I'm going to pull up, because, um, have not got any stitching on it done on that one done this week so I think I'm gonna grab that one 
Um, I'm just going to try to keep rotating through which patterns I have worked and have not worked. Um, my hate called Harmony, which is the parrot. I have worked on it because that's what I did my stitch with me on Wednesday. So to me that counts as being worked on this week. Um, I've worked on my Christmas one, Merry Christmas one. So after I know tomorrow evening, I will probably work on my dragon, my two dragons. And then kind of start the rotation over again. I don't know, it depends on what time I get stitching tomorrow on which one I work on. Oh, that did not go to the right hole. Um, if I get stitching early um, and can get some stitchy time in on my Merry Christmas one, then I'll stitch on the dragon. But if I don't get any um, stitching done, then um, I'll work on Merry Christmas tomorrow. So, we'll see. Just learning how to manage multiple patterns at one time. Now I know last year I had multiple patterns going at one time but I didn't really have any real big patterns so I could work on them for you know I think my longest one took about six months four months it took right about four months because I started it in September and finished it in December just before Christmas um, 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 let me see, let me mark where I'm at so I know. So I'm deciding if I want to continue here, be back. I think I'm going to go down and then come back up. Um, uh -uh. Keeps catching on my scissors over here. Okay, so one. Oops, I pulled the thread right off the needle. Anybody else do that? I do that a lot. I always seem to like pull the thread and I just pull it the the thread right off the needle. Separated threads are a pain. There we go. Now they're back together. Okay. So, yeah, I'm gonna go here. And then we're gonna go down. So let me. Let me see how far down I'm gonna go. Um, 
I need to mark up. There we go. Move that two over. I'm gonna go here, and I'm going to go down. One, two, three. One, two, three. Six, seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, No. Just three. Yes, this is right. Catching on my scissors. Alright. So we're about done with this um, video. Um, yeah, we've almost hit an hour, and I like stopping just before an hour. Um, it's about time to get up and go stretch. I do this one in the wrong spot because this is not this is not adding up right because that shouldn't be right there that's in the right spot this is not so I did not put this in the right spot So, um, what I'm going to do, I'm just just want to finish this last little bit. again. One, there's two. check something. So this is going to come out here, here. So that's one stitch, that's two stitch. And this, see that's not right because, okay. I'm gonna stop here because <laughs> I'm getting confused on the right stitch so I think I'm just gonna leave that and come back to it yeah we're just not gonna mess with that right now so we're gonna go back up here and we're gonna continue across because I don't know the purple one has counted into the right spot. I 
Um, actually, no. The purple one is in the wrong spot. It should start here. Ah, uh, okay. Well, at least I figured out what I did wrong. So I have to edit, I have to frog that section. So we're just gonna do this, finish this line out. And then I will finish, like, be the end of my stream or my video today. Um, and I will work on getting the giveaway information. Um, I know I will. My goal is to have the giveaway set up for next stream. Um, and then once I have the, the giveaway, um, I'll have it set to run for a week and then proceed from there. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to bump the mm, camera. So, like I said, I'm almost finished with this row. Um, and then we will proceed from there. Ah, stop bumping. I wasn't bumping it that much. I get towards the end of the stream, I bump the thing every time. Um, so I hope everybody enjoyed my video. Um, if anybody has any questions about anything, feel free to ask. Um, I do believe I mentioned what count I was working on. This is 28 count. Um, this is a and of course, I pull this around. Alright. So, um... Yeah. So this is a Fiskor new um, on 28 count. Um, first time I've ever done one, so we will see how it goes when I finally get all the pieces created and turn it into what it needs to be. Um, I hope everybody has a great week and I will um, yeah I will try to keep everybody updated on everything. Did you give me just a second here? I just want to finish these last few stitches before I call it a night because this will give me my final stitch count that I need for this project today. Um, I know um, that's my personal stitch count that I want to keep hit for it. So I was going to go over my stitch count because I was going to fill this in down here but oh well. Alrighty. Two more stitches! Yay! <laughs> Alright. And then I will probably move down and try to do all these other stitches. But for now, we're just gonna go here, go here, go here. And that let everybody know that um, I don't even know where I was going with my conversation. I am sorry. I finished my glass of wine. Probably that will be the only one I drink for the night. I'm sure. I don't drink a lot. I drink wine every once in a blue moon. 
Alrighty, so um, I hope everybody enjoyed the stream, as I said a little bit ago. And I hope that everybody has a great week, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.